This looks like Bye Bye Man level production value to me. Yes, and if y'all see Bye Bye Man, you will 100% understand where we're coming yeah. from, Coleman. You got to watch that shit, man. Yeah, I'm, watch, wait, I'm watching it tonight. I'm watching it tonight. You're going to call us, yeah. God. Don't think it. Don't say it. Yeah, I'm going to be out the woods looking at your ass. <laughs> Why bye you make me watch that movie? <laughs> Recently, uh, we've had um, a conundrum, I like to say, um, especially when it comes to movies and video games tying together. Yeah. Um, recently, we just saw, like literally hours ago, yeah. uh, we just saw a movie that was a video game tie-in, but it was yeah. also a, a board game slash book. Uh, and we're like, all right, if it has something to do with video games or it's something that's coming from the past, it's most likely going to be trash. But surprisingly, it was good. And what was that movie, Gertz? That was Jumanji. Jumanji, yes, people. Jumanji, for some reason, mm -hmm. uh, being a movie about a board game, about a bad movie, <laughs> about a good book, uh, being made into a video game, everybody thought it was going to fail, uh, but or excuse me, not, at least not fail, but be bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but surprisingly, it was one of the funniest movies of 2017. Yeah, it was hilarious. Hopefully, this next movie we're about to talk about uh, does the same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, it's something that's that's based off of a creepy pasta or a what's the word I'm looking for? Just a, a spooky novel or a spooky internet novel. Yeah, it was like it was an internet meme that took off just as this, initially as a series of creepy pictures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a dude made an independent video game based yeah. off those. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the person that was behind it uh, was a man named, he went by the pseudonym Victor Surge. Mm -hmm. And the second I heard that, I thought about this guy right here. <laughs> oh, wait a second, the Pokemon Master? No, 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 I mean, that's not him. <laughs> but yeah, it's this uh, this guy named Victor Surge. He created a story called uh, The Slender Man, which is a, a creepypasta or so, a, a, another internet creepy story about that, mm -hmm. uh, where a guy with just a tall guy with no face, a little suit on, uh, would hang around in pictures um, mm -hmm. and go after kids and kidnap them and somehow pages became involved and yeah uh, but yeah it was a, a creepy pasta and it, it, then it became a video game and everybody was like all right we're you know it's calming down you know we're not gonna really see much from this and then our good old friends over at Sony uh, the same people that made the emoji movie and Jumanji, Jumanji. yeah so like Okay, we'll see how this goes. Uh, they decided to get their hands on. Oh, so I was like, first you beat me, then you love me. Like, which one is it? Man, it's like being a relationship with Ike Turner. It's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I think he wants me to do well, but I can't tell. <laughs> Sony is, is the uh, dark skinned dude in every Tyler Perry movie. Aww. That's, that's maybe what Sony is. Like, I think they love me, but I can't tell. Uh, but uh, Sony got their hands on, a, uh, on the rights to, to make this movie, uh, the Slender Man movie. And they really recently released a trailer and uh people without further ado uh here is the new trailer for the slender man <laughs> he's coming for you gamers <laughs> but yes people slender man uh we got the new trailer coming straight from uh, sony and screen gems and um things Things are happening in the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we, you know, being being the video game people up here, you know, we, we acknowledge where we fit into this amazing website. Uh, we, You know, sometimes we need help uh, from the people that have been reviewing movies for, what, 20 plus years now? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. God damn. Damn, you, got, you just aged me, man. Hey, man. You know, you're, 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 you're like fine wine. You've made it. But, but uh, people, without further ado, since we are talking about a video game slash movie, let me bring up the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that plays Slender Man, yeah. the guy that screams his heart out anytime Slender Man is on screen, Corey motherfucking Corey! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Coleman, so as you know, somebody that's that's been reviewing movies and video game movies for a while, um, you know, we talk about trailers on the roast and toast, and this is something that kind of slid through the cracks. Um, what do you think so far of our, our, our fun Slenderman trailer? Well, first of all, mm -hmm. it's not just movies. Yes, I watch a lot of movies, but I love Slenderman. I love you. Love Slenderman. I, the, well, I like the the whole mythology behind the Slenderman. Like we that I, people consider the Slenderman like our first. Our first uh, uh, online, I guess, folk horror hero or mm -hmm. folk horror uh, 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 character. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, kind of our first internet urban myth, supernatural urban myth. Right. You know, there's been a few out there. Mm -hmm. But if you want to talk about video games, I love Slender Man, the eight pages. 
the that eight game, pages. Yeah, that, that old primitive ass video game, yeah. you know, but it was effective. It scared it really scared me. It creeped mm-hmm. me out. So uh, there's a whole fascination I had with Slender Man, the way it just developed, the way it came up into notoriety and the, and the video game they made behind it. I think it's, for being a simple game, I think it's one of the most frightening uh, or creepiest games out there. Yeah, and uh, again, mm-hmm. for one of the most simple promise, uh, premises in a game is basically just look around a building or a forest for yeah. eight little pages and just don't meet up with this one guy because he'll scare the hell out of you. And if you want some uh, proof of somebody being just, just scared shitless while playing this game, uh, we have the man himself right over oh, here no. playing... Uh, <laughs> Uh, no. Slender on a on a former site. God it's damn, like a drag rat man. Look yeah. like those kids. Fourteen year old goth girl. Did you guys see that movie? Uh, oh, shit! shit. <laughs> Get off me! Fuck you! Look at that shit! I don't know. What, Son what, what, of a bitch! That. He was just on me. Looked yeah. like a fucking heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> a heroin addict, Coleman. Yeah, I'm glad you could choose the part. I was like, oh my god! I, you know, I, I say all this not to drag out the time, but just to mm-hmm. say that I know. What I'm talking about, I'm versed in the Slender. That's fair. I've done that all is... things Slender. I even got a, a book that sucks, but I got a book about Slender Man. So when I see this trailer right here, mm-hmm. a little pissed off because <laughs> wait, 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 what, what, what are you mad about though? Because I feel like some people, I'm not, well, I won't speak for myself just yet, but some people are saying this hits all the marks. Uh, this has the creepy kids. This has uh, the Slender Man not being really shown at all. Oh, hell uh, this no. has you know some pages maybe flying by every once in a while. <laughs> no. So they're, they're showing things that you know they're saying the Slender fans want. Like you are a Slender fan. Okay, I, I don't know what other people are seeing, but I'm seeing about four different bad movies. Except Slender Man. Wait, why? <laughs> I, see, I see everything going on except Slender Man. Slender Man, so we're talking about shit. Is this even my movie? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> is, <laughs> what have I, I done? <laughs> I'm in the title, but I'm nowhere else. I see rings. I mm-hmm. see the uh, the the uh, Blair Witch Book of Sorrows. When I say that, the because, Book of Sh- Sorrows, the Book of, book of Shadows. Book of Shadows. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, nobody cared. No, <laughs> that, the sorrow was everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Book time. of Sorrow. I wrote <laughs> yeah. that shit after I saw that movie. <laughs> yeah, but with uh, with Slender Man, you say yeah. What's what's the issue you have with it? Well, the thing with Slender Man is that uh, the, the, there's I just talked about the fascination behind this, and they don't play on the fashion the fascination of Slender Man. Mm-hmm. They don't pay, they play on the things that made Slender Man such a such a successful supernatural supernatural character. You know, and the reason why is because, like I said, you see a lot of just almost almost cliched imagery that we see in a lot of horror movies. Mm-hmm. We see bits of rings in there. You know, where they got like the maggots, they mm-hmm. got the avant garde uh, uh, art horror imagery going on. Some rip off uh, Gore Babinski shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, they got the mm-hmm. point that Slender Man just took LSD and lost his fucking yeah. mind. You know, it's it it, it it gets weird, and I and that's nothing wrong with that. But we've seen that, yeah. right? That's that's rings. That's not that's <laughs> yeah. not Slender Man. And they even got they even had the nerve. To go in there and put the girl with the like the creepy girl with the long black hair, mm-hmm. right the here, long yeah. ass greasy hair, right, right here. here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know it's not the little that and that. The, oh, the, the, like we see imagery. Like go back to that dude with his head, man. We we got the dude it, freaking out. We got <laughs> imagery from nineteen nineties videos, man. You know where people's heads are shaking real mm-hmm. fast and everything. Shit, I did that watching this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh well, yeah, you got you like you said the rain girl and then your boy shaking his head right here losing his mind and then of course the maggots, the blood on the on the side and then You're, some weird girl. Was Writing that him. shot is right from the ring. I was going to point that out. Oh, yeah. going off the edge. Yeah, yeah. when uh, she went a off shot the cliff, right out of the ring. Yeah, Same yeah. Composition and, and it's everything. Also, a shot from Death Note, a movie <laughs> that we saw on Netflix <laughs> that we weren't a big fans of. But yeah, one of the things that people are going to keep comparing this to uh, because it has, in a very similar look to it, is a movie that came out a long ass time ago, uh, The Ring. You will die in seven days. Which was again, the Ring. The Ring was a good movie when it came out, a remake of a Japanese movie, uh, Ringu. But yeah, everybody loved it. It had Gore Verbinski behind it, uh, a bunch of strange imagery, uh, a bunch of uh, basically, I want to say, kind of urban legend, pseudo uh, creepy pasta stuff yeah, going on yeah. before it. And it had a, a a reason behind it. But with this one, with Slender Man, it's just like we need to cash in on this ten years after it came out. Yeah, it seems really late, doesn't it? Yeah. So I, what do you think about it, Gretchen? You've been pretty quiet on it. Um, it. it reminds me the most i definitely see uh the ring in there too but it reminds me the most of the bye bye man honestly mm. because just of how cheap it looks mm-hmm. and people just like angrily scribbling shit right right <laughs> um there is one shot in here that i actually think is pretty cool and it's the shot of the slender man how dare you what how dare you think something is good in this trailer <laughs> i agree with that i know what you're about to say yeah it's the one shot of the slender man in the distance in the fog and it's like oh that that's the moment that actually feels like it's taking it uh 
inspiration from the thing that actually freaked us out in the first place. Well, maybe it's because it has the goddamn Slender, Slender Man in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and you're talking about uh, this shot right here. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, why isn't there more of that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you will not have fun in this movie, Curtis. I no. Yeah. What's up, Coleman? Yeah, well, you want to talk about things that take imagery from other films. Mm-hmm. It's funny how lately we're talking about how suicide, man, that's not cool. That's not entertaining. That's not funny. Yet we are showing a lot of teenagers committing suicide movies now. Yeah, and like the most gruesome ways, too. Like it's not even something yeah. like them hanging themselves or shooting themselves. It's like, no, I'm going to take this uh, scalpel and shove it in my eye. It's like, uh, yeah. why do you want to do that? We love telling teenagers to kill themselves as long as, <laughs> as long as it looks cool you know yeah yeah as long because as it's being the, filmed that's the second trailer mm-hmm. in a in, in, in Keep in mind, in one week, we had oh, two yeah. trailers That's dropped right. where, some, where some young person has stuck something in their eye mm-hmm. and jammed it in mm-hmm. and killed themselves. Yeah. You know, I mean, and I'm not having, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that, you know, you, you see how much this movie is cannibalizing from other movies that they even did it for movies that ain't out yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 very true. Yeah. But uh, one thing, I'm, I'm not glad you brought this up, uh, Coleman, because they're, they're showing a lot of serious stuff in here. Like uh, Coleman said, we saw a trailer um, this week with Truth or Dare show somebody get stabbed in the eye and, mm-hmm. and mutilate themselves. And then you saw it again here in the ring. Uh, one big thing about the Slender Man uh, that we really haven't had with many, uh, many movies, especially uh, video games, creepypasta movies, things like that, is um, there's actually real life drama that's going on behind this <laughs> movie about uh, the Slender Man. And um, I don't know if you guys remember this. It was a few uh, a while back. I believe it was like two or three years ago. The stabbing. The, yeah, the uh, mm-hmm. the two girls that uh, that killed a uh, excuse me stabbed a, another another person and they're, these two girls right here Morgan Geyser and uh, Anissa Weir or Wire hopefully I'm saying her name right mm-hmm. uh, but these two girls um, basically took somebody out they to the look woods crazy as fuck, yeah, too, look yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I must have teased him <laughs> yeah but but uh, these two girls um, were trying to appease the Slender Man um, which is. I think the most bullshit excuse to say I tried to murder somebody. Like I'm trying yeah. to, I'm being influenced by it's a like video Slender game. Man is hoes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tell my bitches to do the work. Yeah. Uh, Insidious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, but with um, with Slender Man, uh, some people really aren't feeling uh, what was going on. What's going on behind the scenes of it? Rightfully so, because again, like I said, uh, somebody was uh, basically basically dead behind this this mythos or this this urban legend and um i actually got a question about this i'm just laughing because slender man got your boy over here he, carlton's, he, he, oh, yeah, carlton's, uh, carlton's I'm dead not, not, the man killed him. <laughs> <laughs> i must leave uh but no we got a message from uh from jenny a big fan of the show and somebody's a very she comes out here all the time she mm-hmm. comes to all the anniversary shows and she says uh, there's actually a lot of controversy about this movie coming out and some people are actually trying to stop this from coming out yeah uh jenny writes she says hey goodwin and gertz uh, so with that Slender Man movie coming out, there's some controversy brewing with it. If you don't remember, back in uh, 2014, a girl nearly died after two friends tried to kill her to appease Slender Man in Wisconsin. The case is still a pretty hot topic around here since the trial is still happening, but the dad of the victim isn't happy about the movie coming out. Here's a story about it, and she uh, puts a link in there. Uh, she also says, I've also heard there's a petition out to stop the movie, too. Figure it, since you were talking about the trailer, this may add to the discussion. Let me know if you want any any more information. And yeah, it's Wisconsin, Wisconsin can't catch a break, because that's where Bye Bye Man was set, too. Oh, that's and by right. the way, Bye Bye Man ain't nothing but a knockoff Slender Man. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. saw it. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 it, okay. I, I, I'm actually going to watch it tonight to like round out my worst of list. But I looked at uh, Bye Bye Man and it's, mm-hmm. it, uh, you know parts of it. And I was like, man, even the trailer, you can tell like it's a ripoff of Slender Man. Totally. And mm-hmm. Like, damn, maybe Slender Man should just be left in video games. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's what it seems like. Uh, but yeah, to to go along with uh, what what Jenny was saying, uh, the person who was thoroughly upset about this movie coming out and saying they're actually <laughs> trying to capitalize on the uh, the harm that befell uh, his daughter is the the dad, one of the the victim of the attack from uh, Anissa Wire or Weir and um, and the other girl and he basically came out his name is Bill Wire and he says um, he broke his silence about the Slender Man movie and his statement was it's absurd they want to make a movie like this it's popular, uh, popularizing a, tra- a tragedy is what it's doing I'm not surprised but in my opinion it's extremely distasteful all we're doing is extending the pain to all three of these families uh, all three of these families have gone through so yeah he's basically saying this movie shouldn't have come out because they're trying to pro- uh, make a profit on this whole case thing. Now, let me ask you, do you think that's that's fair of him to say? I read about this and <clears throat> the victim. Here's oh, here's the thing. Could you make an argument for that? Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. Because near the end of the trailer, you know, they prominently put the camera on a on a disturbed teenage girl. Mm-hmm. And so this 
it, it does feel like a case perhaps of too soon after something that uh, that that happened that fortunately didn't end up as tragic as it could have. Right, because the uh, the girl did survive. Peyton, whole... Peyton Lutner, I don't think is the, is the victim's name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, there could be things saying that yeah, this is a little too close to home right here. Mm-hmm. That being said, the victim and her parents ain't said shit. Right, and right. Now, I, what I mean by that is that. Uh, this sounds like a case of the family like, man, we don't need this heat on us no more. Yeah. No, I don't, we don't need to remind the public that my daughter is out of goddamn mind. You yeah, know? I got daughter and the friend are out there. Yeah, we mind. just don't need to catch that kind of negative heat right now. Mm-hmm. And it, what it, that's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because, uh, uh, like I said, the victim ain't said anything and the, her family ain't said anything. And even if they did come out and say it, I'll just pass this off to y'all after I'm done here. I'll just say this one quick thing. Mm-hmm. While it does seem like uh, this might it could be an argument that this is insensitive. Uh, you also have to keep in mind that Slender Man had this mythology behind uh, him before any of this happened with the girls. Right. And, mm. you know, somebody could come out and even make a, a, a case saying or make an argument saying, well, you know, my son was killed by a, a, a guy with a knife. I want all slasher movies and horror movies to stop yeah. right yeah. someone wearing a ghost face mask attacked a fam- member of my family i don't want any more scream movies coming out yeah yeah you know it doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense i don't think that mm-hmm. it, it might seem insensitive but does it does it does it, mm-hmm. does it hold any ground to keep the movie from coming out i don't think so right that's fair Gert. uh i completely agree with you i think you certainly could make a case for why you feel that this is distasteful or even offensive uh but i don't think you can blame slender man as a property <laughs> i thought you were about to say as a person no 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 <laughs> we call this the, the stand slender man it's like it's <clears throat> like if you you can't really i don't think you can fairly attribute what happened to this or blame like slender man for this just because it's it's a horror icon you know mm-hmm. it's not something that's instructive and it's not a rallying cry to violence it's it's a meme that became a video game yeah and yeah. it it may have had an impact on someone who was disturbed mm-hmm. but that individual is also clearly disturbed i don't think it's fair to blame <laughs> like the thing that they watched this could have been avoided if this came off as a better movie. True. What they're doing is they're just cashing off of the trend with, with, with what mm-hmm. they do with a lot of horror movies. They're saying, well, horror movies of this type, they are popular with young people. They're doing the same thing, just putting these teenagers and really young people in there, which mm-hmm. is fine, but Slender Man, there's a lot more going to it than ripping, you know, not ripping up, but just riding that tide of the usual teenager in a, in a creepy film trend. It's it's This movie could have been, or something could should have used as, as an example, I believe, is something like the Mothman Prophecies. Okay. Where, because a lot of people feel like. Wait, do you believe in the Mothman prophecies? No, but the the movie. (laughs) No, because what the Mothman prophecies, the movie did was Mm -hmm. was uh, play off the the feeling that it was real, right? People, I don't believe in the Mothman. I I don't think that's bullshit. But a lot of people, it's 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 such an urban myth that a lot of people actually think that well, maybe we can't explain these things. Mm -hmm. There's been this whole thing going on online where people are saying like. I know people have said, man, the, the the belief in the Slender Man has has been so strong. Or people has give such given such energy to this that maybe it manifested itself in real life. Okay, you know, and that, I know this sounds crazy, but that's something that could be played with in a movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think there was a lot more clever things that they could have done than what we see them doing right here. <clears throat> yeah, I will one hundred percent agree with you. Yeah. Uh, they they definitely did that, and you're right. It, it feels like. They're just taking the easy route and just ripping off other things. Like, and, yeah. and keep in mind, you could you could do something to where you could have a movie where it doesn't feel like a blatant ripoff of something. Like, it could be paying homage to other films. Like, we've had things like Cabin in the Woods to talk about slasher films and, and uh, zombie films and things like that. And you've had um, just other films that you know take little bits and pieces uh, from there and they put their own twist on it and they come out. They turn out to be good movies. Uh, but the this the Slender Man trailer what from what it feels like it's just like all right you're right it just feels like these teenagers like this they the bye bye man somehow made money uh and we, we got a property that already has some internet craze behind it. it already has even if you're not uh throwing that in there it does have uh, other people who aren't into the internet or, or, or in the video games because they know about the trial yeah uh, they're like all right I, this is a, a movie about something that i heard about let me go check it out so it feels like they're just trying to have a blatant cash grab yeah, yeah you and, and you could skirt around the whole thing but it did really capture a lot of people's imagination like is this thing so strong that it is influencing people to mm-hmm. actually go out and kill people I mean, right it's not true for a lot of people but it could it could be something to play with in the movie without touching on that case yeah. actually and what if you what you know they had this whole thing of what if 
the Slender Man was actually real before it became a meme. Maybe if that was the influence for the meme, that it was really out there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more that they could do with yeah. this than what we see going on and right the, now. Yeah. At least. We don't know. The movie might be great. We don't yeah. know. Right. They could have even just done something as simple as what makes that video game so effective. It's that sense of just isolation, just being mm -hmm. trapped in the woods alone. There's only one shot of that in this entire trailer. The mm -hmm. rest of it is that stock horror movie bullshit imagery. Yeah, what see. if somebody got lost in the woods? Yeah. What if this turned to a movie where some young person got lost in the woods mm -hmm. and they can't find themselves out and there's this thing kind Constantly in the background. Yeah. Well, Coleman, they don't want to rip off the Blair Witch. They don't want to take... <laughs> oh, take, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they don't, want to, they don't want to do anything to other movies. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, this I, I feel like you're right. This could have been... Even outside of the movie, this could have been handled better. Uh, yeah. Prime example, when we brought up the Blair Witch, um, that was something that had so much internet craze going on behind it. People were saying, this is like a real movie. I remember being in fifth grade when that came out. And we were like at the lunch table like, yo, don't them kids are really dead. And they, they, they sell a ticket to, to this funeral. And they're like, nah, man. Like They showed up at like the MTV Awards like yeah. the next week. <laughs> I'm like, man, they fry. Not I knew y'all was there. But yeah, they could have done something cool. Like even um stuff that doesn't have a, a big, you know, centered ethos uh, around it. The movie Urban Legends, as trashy as it is, it looks better than this. Yeah. Like they're just talking about, you know, the, the legend about uh somebody waking up in a bathtub with their kidney missing, or like you hide in the back seat and the boyfriend gets killed and is somebody knocks on the door and a, a crazy man escaped from a, a a mental asylum up the mm -hmm. street. Like there's a lot of ways they could have done this. And it just feels like they're taking the quick route, and that doesn't seem like it's going to turn into a good movie. And that really is unfortunate because, like we said, Sony has been – they've been having this weird relationship with, I think – the world uh, where they're putting out <laughs> trash and then they're putting out thoroughly enjoyable movies. You have uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, then you have the Emoji movie, then you have Jumanji, and then we'll see what this turns into. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. I still have the smallest inkling of hope because of just seeing Jumanji again. Uh, but man, I feel like this is going to turn out as some, as some, some good, some old bullshit, man. <laughs> yeah, and it just looks cheap. You yeah. know, like it's, we've seen horror movies with small budgets look great. Mm -hmm. Like Get Out had a budget of, I think, $5 million. Looks great. The right. Witch had a tiny budget. This, this looks like something. This looks like Bye Bye Man level production value to me. Yes. And if y'all see Bye Bye Man, you will 100% understand where we're coming yeah. from, Coleman. You got to watch that shit, man. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching it tonight. I'm watching it tonight. You're going to call us, yeah. God. Don't think it. Don't say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be out the woods looking at your ass. <laughs> Why you make me watch that movie? <laughs> because it's trash. What's wrong with that guy? Oh, he wants bye bye man. Oh. <laughs>